Yeah. Gene was a freaking genius. Dude, man. for real, man. Like, dude, him and Richard Pryor. Oh, <laughs> so great, man. I listen, I love Will Ferrell and John C. O'Reilly, but man, that's just, that's a classic. I mean, there's, yeah, dude. Because that's, you know, that's what, three, you know, we've got Stir Crazy. Um, Silver Bullet was one, right? Yeah, like Silver that, Bullet was one. And then, um, wait a minute. Hear no, or Hear No Evil, See No Evil. I haven't seen that one. Oh, man, where Gene Wilder is, uh, I can't remember which one's deaf and which one's blind, but one of them's deaf and one of them's blind, <laughs> and man, it is hilarious, dude. That's, S- it's Silver great. Streak, Stir Crazy, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, yeah. and Another You. I haven't heard of that one either. I haven't heard of Another You. That was 1991. That was the, the last movie. They but Hear No together. Evil, See No Evil, man, that's that's a classic. Like I said, because I can't remember exactly which one's which, but one of them's blind one of them's deaf. So that they're trying to like help right each other out, man. Him and Richard Pryor and dude, it's just it's comedy gold, man. They were supposed to make five movies together. Uh, Richard was actually you ever seen Blazing Saddles? Oh man, that's a movie you can't talk dude. about much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> Don't bring that one up. Oh man. man, that is it's a great movie though, and if like you, if and if you pay attention to it, like it's. A beautiful story about yeah. acceptance and people realizing exactly, their wrongs. That, like, yeah, there, there's th- that word is thrown around quite a bit in that yeah, movie. Yeah. But in the end, he's the hero and people are accepting. Like, it's beautiful if you look at it from that point of view. Exactly. If you're looking for stuff to offend you or whatever, like, yeah, that movie, you can definitely find a few yeah, of those yeah, things. Yeah, 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 for but, sure. But Richard was supposed to be the, uh, the sheriff, sheriff yeah. in that movie. Yeah. But that was at the time where, you know, Richard had a lot of stuff going on yeah, in his life. Yeah, yeah, but the, if I'm not mistaken, he, he still helped produce, or um, maybe if it wasn't producing, he helped somewhat in the making of Blazing Saddles, though. Yeah, I think it was like towards the end. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but he they're, did something. But they're at the beginning of it. I mean, there'd be days where Richard wouldn't even show up on set and nobody could find him. So I that they just, that, yeah. I, I forget the guy's name that ended up playing the sheriff, unfortunately. But, but he did a great job, yeah, though, man, like, for real. Yeah, and like, he... And that, like, he was such a new actor. Like, he didn't... Yeah, yeah. That was, like, one of his very first real roles. And it was a yeah. lead role in a Mel Brooks movie <laughs> that has became... A classic. Yeah, an instant Absolute classic. Absolute classic, and man. killed it, Dude, man. Dude, for real. Well, it's kind of like... And, like, thinking back on it, it's kind of like one of those things, like, now, it's like, could you see Richard Pryor playing the sheriff, though? In in a way, but I'm happy that it turned out the way that exactly it did. because like as funny as Richard is, he's a little too white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that sheriff row needed that kind of cool, you know, mellow, you know. And it's kind of like almost how Chris Farley was supposed to play Shrek. It's kind of like could you imagine really? Shrek? Yeah, yeah. I've there's never actually heard if you that. go on YouTube, you can hear uh, there's actually screen uh, readings of Chris Farley doing the road or doing the lines for it, man. man. So like could you imagine Chris Far even with him reading the lines, him being Shrek as much as you've heard Mike Myers be Shrek now. It's kinda yeah. one of those things like after you see someone fit the role so perfect, then you think of how the other person is. I'm like, eh, I don't know if they could have. As good as they are, yeah. could they have fit that role as good as that person did? I, and oh, I don't know, man. man. Blazing Saddles was like uh, that's like you said, man. It's just a groundbreaking movie, and like it literally broke barriers. And like you said, yeah, you could find stuff offensive in it, but that was the thing about it was it took an offensive term and made it, com- you know, what I'm saying yeah, it made it a yeah. comical thing to where it's like, okay, well now you can't really use this derogatory term as much against me because man, we're sitting here in the same theater laughing about it. Exactly. <laughs> like you know what I'm yeah, saying. So man. it kind of took power away from the word. Because we put laughter to it in a way, you know, so. And that's kind of why I really love that movie, but I wish more people would watch it because if you watch it, it's almost hard, man, for the for the unfiltered mind just to watch that movie and not have a good laugh at it. Yeah, dude. And not laugh at the people in it, but they're all laughing at themselves. I mean, it's the yeah. opening scene, for example, when they're mocking themselves about singing the old, you know, the yeah. old hymns. So it's kind of like one of those things, like you're literally watching people kind of like Richard's comedy mock himself yeah. and laugh with him at himself rather than laughing. Kind of like Dave Chappelle does that a great way too, yeah. man, for and, real. And, and one of like the only like newer comedians that do that. I love that opening scene too, by the way, where they like throw the rope and get the get the the uh, the, the rail car. <laughs> yeah, hand car. Almost lost a four hundred dollar hand car. <laughs> but did you ever have you ever heard the saying that the world ended in twenty twenty twelve? Uh, I've seen those. It has, man. <laughs> but dude, no, like I, I, I genuinely think about it this way, like not to be like it's ending, but 
the th- or that it's ended. But I kind of think about it. It got around 2012, man. And a lot of stuff changed quick. Yeah. Quick. Quick. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, dude, like, we went kind of like from having no Justice Warriors to Justice Warriors. And then we went from a not really, not everybody's kind of whatever to a really woke crowd, you know? And it's kind of yeah. like a complete tidal wave, man, over the last 10 yeah. years, dude. It's kind of just really crazy. Like, Step Brothers really is to me one of the last, I mean, uh, last mainstream kind of more you know like raunchy, raunchy yeah, yeah movie because obviously you got the american pies and all these other small independent movies and stuff like that but to be the last like theater movie kind of yeah. like a blazing saddles Step Brothers, probably the last man really yeah man it's such great jokes in oh, that movie <sighs> in that one talladega nights got some good ones too man yeah, like dude. that's that's got some stuff in it bro <laughs> if you played it on tv today it wouldn't get played parts of it man i know i man. mean like and but, and but it was funny yeah it was dude hilarious. nobody like we were just talking earlier nobody had a problem then and like it's kind of wild i mean in the last 10 years it's like i don't know it's like somebody flipped a switch yeah it's like not to use the term woke but i guess everybody woke up and they're like oh what <laughs> what have we been listening to for the last you know whatever how many years but yep. in reality man it's like like kind of like you were saying nobody's brought up these issues it's you that's brought up these issues you yeah. know and even then like there's no issue everybody's having a good time like there's actual yeah. issues that are going on in the yeah, world yeah exactly Very and bad bigotry stuff that yeah, is going yeah, on in for the world sure. that like like that, and that's what a lot of these movies is trying to point out like Blazing Saddles is a great example, you know. It, it was point, yes. it was pointing out how stupid that type of ideology is. Yes, exactly. And, and that's what it's making fun of. <laughs> yes. But people totally miss it. Yeah, they, it goes over their head, man. Because they just hear that hard R and they're like, oh, man, that's a... Ra-. And it's like, no, it's man. You're not dude. You're not getting it, dude. You're missing the bigger picture here. And, but then, yeah. but, but if you try to explain that to people, then you're the bigot and exactly, you're what's wrong man. with everything. And that's and that's uh, what I try to tell people, man. It's, it's hard to debate with people now because we use such... Um, such basic phrases and terms uh, and it's kind of not to get on a political issue but I mean it's kind of just like if you use a phrase and then say someone says well I don't necessarily agree with that then you kind of depend on what the phrase is you sound like a prick if you don't necessarily agree with that yeah. but it's like well maybe I don't agree with exactly how you think we should do it there's just some things that maybe we should tweak about that or I don't necessarily yeah. agree with with this especially in politics and like and that's just where things get and it's just oh yeah. My, yeah but it's, but but who said that everybody has to agree with everybody exactly. that's, that's that's another that's thing the that, great part about living in America man yeah <laughs> we're a big melting pot of different yeah. races people and ideologies